Hello and welcome to your yoga practice today. My name is Elise Loren and today we'll be focusing on binding. Often binds feel like they are creating this lock or this tightness and so our job today is to find the breath, to find the space in the lock or find the freedom in the boundary if you will. Um, we are going to start today in a belly down Shavasana. So come all the way down to your belly and actually I'm going to face this way, all the way down to your belly, and then place one hand on top of the other and lower your forehead down. Allow for your breath to start to become your main point of focus here. Feel the front of your body lift and lower from the ground as you breathe deeply. In moments of shapes like this, it's easy to find that freedom. Because we're just lying on the ground, there's not much else to do, nowhere else to be right, but right here in your practice with your breath. And so take this ease with you as we move forward into each individual shape today. Knowing that you don't need to find perfection you just need to find breath. And with that breath, find presence of each shape. Find space in each shape. Let your breath move you for the next half hour we have together today. Take a deep breath in through your nose, fill up. Exhale out of your mouth, let it go. Close down your mouth. Start to breathe in and out through your nostrils for ujjayi pranayama. Bring your right arm out to the side. Cactus your arm and make sure that your shoulder and your elbow are in the same plane. Now tent your fingertips underneath your left shoulder. Lift your left leg. Bend your left knee. Open your left hip and stand your left foot behind your right leg. If this feels like too much or your left toes are floating, feel free to stack your left leg on top of your right. Once you feel grounded enough, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling, flip your palm behind you and find a half bind. Wrap your left arm around your low back. Peel your left shoulder open and take three deep breaths right here. sure your elbow and your shoulder are in the same plane. Now draw your gaze towards your right hand, tent your fingertips underneath your shoulder, lift your right leg, bend your right knee, open your right hip and stamp your foot behind your left leg. If this is too much, feel free to stack your legs. When you feel grounded through all points of contact with the earth, reach your right arm up, flip your palm behind you and find a half bind on side two. Peel your right shoulder open to create more expansion from shoulder to shoulder on the front plane of your body. Take one more breath in. One more breath out. Release your right hand down. Gently guide yourself back to your belly. Now bring both hands underneath your shoulders, press yourself up, separate your knees out wide, big toes together, settle your hips towards your heels, child's pose. Walk your hands forward, release your head to the ground, and deepen your breath. Just three more breaths right here to continue with our grounding moments, our moments of finding presence in the stillness before we find presence in the movement. When you're ready, tuck under your toes, lift your hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Find any movement that feels good for your body today. And then when you're ready, start to settle. 
As always, bring a light bend to your knees, tilt your tailbone up towards where the ceiling and wall meet, and then straighten-ish your legs. Wrap your biceps up towards your ears, feel outer rotation in your arms, and then plug your arms into your shoulders. Take a deep breath in here, lift both heels high. Exhale, lower both heels to the right. So you're on the inside edge of your left foot, the pinky toe edge of your right foot. Press down and forward through your hands, shift your hips farther up and back. Inhale, come back through center, lift both heels high. Exhale, lower both heels to the left. Press down and forward through your hands to tilt your hips farther up. Feel length through the right side of your body. On your next inhale, come back through center, both heels high. Exhale, lower your heels closer to the mat without tucking the tailbone. Keep it lifted. Inhale, look to the top of your space. Exhale, slowly walk your feet, one footprint at a time, up towards your thumbs. Keep lifting your hips and weight through your hands for as long as possible. If you need to come up on the fingertips, please do, and then separate your feet hip width and release your head. Wrap your hands around to your calf muscles and gently press into your legs to draw your chest closer to your thighs. Draw your shoulders down your back away from your ears and lift your sit bones up. Shake your head yes and no to bring in more release through your neck. Release your arms. Inhale, halfway lift. Find a long spine and a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Release your head and neck. Root down through both feet. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, mountain pose. Sweep your arms out and up overhead. Exhale, capture your right wrist with your left hand. Pull your right arm up and over to the left. Inhale, come back through center. Opposite grip. Exhale, pull your left arm up and over to the right. Shift your left hip farther to the left. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, cactus your arms. Lift your heart. Bring as deep of a bend into your knees as you need for more length through your low back. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, fold, step your left foot back to a low lunge, lower your back knee to the mat. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Take a few moments to pulse forward and back, warm up your hips. And start to settle, take another breath in. Exhale, wrap your right arm around your low back for a half bind. Pull your right shoulder down your back. Now reach your left arm up and over to the right for more length from your left knee to your left fingertips. Option here to lift your gaze up towards your left bicep. Breathe deeply into your intercostal muscles in your left side rib cage. Now wrap your left fingertips around your head towards your right temple and gently guide your left ear towards your left shoulder for neck release. You can stay right here or lower your chin towards your collarbones to deepen the stretch in a new way. Keep your head heavy. Bring your left hand to the left side of your head and assist your head upright. Release your hands to the ground. Lift your hips slightly up, keep your back knee on the ground, and inhale, reach your right leg into the air for a three-legged tabletop. Exhale, lower your toes to the back of your mat. Press through your heel. Now keep this leg through your hamstrings, swivel on your left knee so your toes point behind you. Lower your right heel down. Inhale, reach your right arm up for a side plank variation. Now press down through your left hand a lot, Lift your back leg off of the ground for a half moon variation. If you feel crunchiness in this top hip, bring your toes more forward to plug your leg in. Now take a breath in, option to lift your gaze up. Exhale, bend your top knee, reach back with your right hand and capture your right foot. Kick your foot into your hand, open your rib cage forward, feel your shoulder blades travel closer together. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release to your half moon. Same exhale, step it back to your side plank. 
Inhale, lower your right hand down. Lift your back heel and swivel your left toes back. Exhale, lift your left knee off the ground and hug it into your belly. Inhale, lift your left leg into the air, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend at your knee, open up your hips, circle through your ankle. You can never get enough of these. Lift your right shoulder as high as your left. Inhale, straighten back through your left leg, square your hips. Exhale, knee to nose, one time. Inhale, reach back and extend. Exhale, step forward to a lunge. Inhale, look forward, come up on the fingertips. Exhale, pop your right foot halfway up for pyramid pose, Parsvottanasana. Root down through both heels, shift your left hip back. Now if you have yoga blocks, that's, this is a great place to use them. Or walk your hands onto your left shin or a water bottle. So instead of rounding and hinging at your spine, you're hinging at your hips. You feel length through the front of your body. From here, you can start to slowly lower down without drawing your shoulders forward. Keep them on your back. Take a breath in, halfway lift your chest. Exhale, forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Same deal as side one. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, grab your left wrist, pull it up and over to the right. Bump your hips to the left. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, right arm to the left, bump your hips to the right. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, this time wrap your arms behind you, hands behind your hips, bend your knees and lift your heart up. Inhale, arms to lift. Exhale, forward fold, any variation. Swan dive your hands through heart. Inhale, halfway lift again, long spine, weight forward in your toes. Exhale, fold, root through your right foot and step, I'm sorry, root through your left foot and step your right foot back to a lunge. Lower your back knee. Inhale, your arms to lift and start to pulse forward and back. Your back toes can be tucked or untucked, whatever feels better for your back knee. You can also double over your mat if you need more support for that back knee. Start to settle forward. Energetically draw inner lines of legs together, feel engagement through your legs. Take a breath in, lift your heart up. Exhale, wrap your left arm around your low back for a half bind. Peel your shoulder down your back. Now start to reach your right arm up and over to the left. Plug your arm into your shoulder. Deepen your breath into your right side rib cage. Feel length from your knee to your fingertips. Now start to wrap your right fingertips around towards the left temple of your head. Guide your right ear towards your right shoulder. You can stay right here or lower your chin towards your collarbones to lengthen through the back left side of your neck. Keep your head heavy. Bring your right hand to the right side of your head. Assist your head upright and then lower both hands to the ground. Shift your hips back a bit to give yourself more space. Inhale, send your left leg straight back into a three-legged tabletop. Probably will feel better to untuck your back toes here. Take a breath in. Exhale, step your left toes to the back of your mat and reach through your heel. Keep this length. Swivel on your right knee so your toes point behind you. Lower your left heel to the ground. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Press down through your right arm. Lift your gaze up. Now start to inhale and lift your left leg off of the ground. Again, crunchiness, bring your toes more forward. Plug your leg in. Feel that engagement, that integration here. Now start to bend your top knee. Reach back with your left hand. Capture the pinky toe edge of your back foot. Kick your foot into your hand. Open your rib cage. So it's like you're creating a sideways rainbow from your right shoulder to your left fingertips. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, release through your half moon to your side plank variation. Inhale, lower your left hand, lift your back heel, swivel your right toes behind you. 
Exhale, lift your right knee up towards your belly. Inhale, extend your right leg back, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend at your knee and open up your hip. Circle through your ankle, lift your left shoulder as high as your right shoulder. Inhale, level out your hips, reach through your right heel. Exhale, knee to nose, stack your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, step forward to a lunge. Inhale, look forward, tend your fingertips. Exhale, pop your left foot halfway up your space for pyramid pose. And separate your feet here a bit wider. Send your right hip back, lift your heart forward. And if you need to lift your hands to do so, please do. Micro bend in your front knee. Inhale, find length. Exhale, find depth but only depth as far as you can come to where you're still not hinging from your spine. Take one more breath in, look forward. Exhale, pop your left foot up to meet your right forward fold. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Inhale, halfway lift, cue change coming up here. Exhale, fold, plant your hands and step back into a plank position. Plug your arms in, lift your kneecaps, inhale. Exhale, shift your shoulders forward, lower all the way to your belly. Untuck your toes, lengthen your legs back. Inhale, press down, lift up, cobra pose. Today, send your armpits up towards your ears for side body length. Now, draw your shoulder blades closer together and down your back, lift an inch higher. Exhale, forehead to the ground. Another one just like that. Inhale, come on up, cobra pose. Side bodies long, shoulders towards one another and down your back, ears over your shoulders. Exhale, earth. Tuck under your toes, lift your knees off the ground. Inhale, press straight up to plank. Exhale, hips back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in your down dog, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift your right leg into the air behind you. Square your hips, reach through your heel. Exhale, step forward to a lunge. Lower your back heel at an angle for warrior one. Inhale, loop to rise, arms lift, Virabhadrasana A. Stack your front knee right over your front heel. Send your left hip forward, your right hip back, just like we did in pyramid. Now notice if your tailbone is really reaching. Draw your belly button to your spine to lengthen your low back. Take a breath into your rib cage here. Exhale, lower your hands to your low back and interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift your heart. Find length through the front of your body. Exhale, keep this length across your chest. Hinge at your hips and fold inside your right knee. Humble warrior. Now reach your fist at a diagonal past your sacrum so that our shoulder heads aren't coming forward but are staying on your back. Release the crown of your head towards your right arch and notice if your right hip is shooting off to the right, send it back in line with your left heel. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, release your hands by way of your low back inside your right foot. Crawl your right arm underneath your right leg and tent your fingertips off to the side so that they point backwards. Have your left hand do the same to the left. Continue to draw your hip back. Send your front knee over your front heel. This is a really big hip opener, so stick with it and breathe. Wrap your left hand around to your low back. You can also hold on to your pants here if that's available for you and feels a bit better. Keep your right hand where it is or Wrap your right hand around your outer right glutes and maybe capture your pants, a strap, or your other hand. I know this feels intense, but we're not here for very long. Feel spacious across your chest, find space in your hips, and breathe into the freedom of the bind. It's almost like you're hugging yourself versus you're locking yourself in. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release your hands. Step your right foot a bit more towards the center of your mat. Send your back heel more horizontally and inhale, cartwheel open to warrior two. Exhale to settle. 
Notice if you're leaning forward, stack your shoulders over your hips. Energetically pull your feet towards one another to lift through your pelvic floor. Flip your front palm. Inhale, reach up and back, reverse your warrior. Keep that bend in your front knee. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward, forward. Prop your right arm on your right leg. Reach your left arm up over your head. So extended side has the arm over your ear. Feel length through your entire side body here. Now side angle, reach your fingertips up. Flip your palm away from you and find a half bind. We'll just stay in the half bind here. Peel your left shoulder open. Option to lift your gaze. Notice if your right shoulder is moving towards your ear. Press down, find space. Start to shorten your stance. Look down in front of your right toes. Reach your right hand forward to earth or to yoga block and peel your left toes into the air for a half bound, half moon. So you've already been in this shape just with your knee down. Reach back through your left heel. If you feel crunchy, send your toes forward. Peel your left shoulder open. Now root through your right foot so much that maybe your right fingertips get light. Hold for three. Hold for two. One more breath in. Exhale, release your left hand and square your hips standing splits. Reach back through your left heel and then up. Walk your hands closer to your right foot. I know your right leg is probably burning right now. We're almost done. Wrap one hand around your right calf. Maybe wrap both hands around your right calf. Inhale. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your left foot back, step your right foot back, plank. Nice work. Take a breath in. Exhale, shift your shoulders forward and come all the way down to your belly. Keeping it with cobra today. Untuck your toes, inhale, curl up, cobra pose. Maybe come up even higher. Exhale, forehead to the ground. Tuck under your toes, inhale, press up to plank. Exhale, hips back, downward facing dog. One more side to go. Inhale, lift your left leg into the air. Square your hips, reach through your heel. Exhale, step towards your left thumb for warrior one. Lower your back heel at an angle. And then inhale, your arms to lift. Settle your front knee right over your front heel. Left hip back, right hip forward. Belly button to your spine. Root through both feet, reach up through your rib cage. Plug your arms in. Take a breath in. Exhale, hands to your low back, interlace opposite hand on top. Inhale, lift your heart, feel your shoulder blades draw closer together. Keep this, hinge at your hips and fold inside your left knee or thigh for humble warrior. If this action's hard to do, separate your feet wider, give yourself more space. Release your head, reach your fist back at an angle so your shoulder blades travel down your back. Breathe deeply. Find space in a pose that might feel more closed off. Take another breath in. Exhale, release your hands inside your left foot. Crawl your right arm underneath your right leg and tend your fingertips off to the side so that they point backwards. Right hand will do the same on the right side. Start to shift your front knee over your front heel. Feel your arm and leg connect. Keep your left hip drawing back towards your right heel. Now start to lift your right hand off the ground and place your hand on your low back on your sacrum. You can stay right here and breathe or lift your left fingertips off the ground, flip your palm and wrap your hand around your outer left glutes to find your right hand or to find pants or a strap. You have just three breaths here. Breathe deeply. Embrace yourself in this weird hug. So good. One more breath in. One more breath out. Release your hands. Woo! Walk your left foot more to the center of your mat. Lift your back heel and send it more at a horizontal angle. Cartwheel open on your inhale, warrior two. Exhale to settle. Same deal as warrior one, front heel and knee are aligned. Now back 
toes are more at a horizontal. Squeeze your feet towards one another. Sit one inch lower if you can. Flip your left palm. Inhale, reach up and back, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Left arm reaches forward, shift your left hip back, place your left arm on your left leg. Sweep your right arm over your right ear, plug your arm in. Now first we come into extended to find length through the right side. Keep this length, reach your right fingertips straight up, flip your palm back, and wrap your arm around your low back. Half bound, side angle. Peel your right shoulder open, lift your gaze. Press down through your left forearm so your left ear is away from your shoulder. Keep your half bind. Start to shorten your stance. Look down in front of your left toes. Reach forward. Peel your right big toe off the ground. Half bound, half moon. Reach back through your right heel a lot so your lifted leg is holding itself in space. Micro bend in your front knee. Peel your right shoulder open. Continue to breathe here. That's most important. Everything else comes second. Maybe you root through your left foot so much that your left toes, uh, left fingertips get light. Hold for three, for two. One more breath in. Exhale, release your right hand and close off into standing splits. Reach back through your right heel and then up. Make sure your toes are pointing down so your hips are closed. Walk your hands closer to your left foot. Wrap one hand around your left calf. Maybe play around with wrapping both. Take one more breath in. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot back. Inhale, plank. Exhale, shift forward and come all the way down to your belly. So good, you guys. Inhale, curl up, cobra pose, shoulders down your back. Exhale, forehead down. Tuck under your toes one last time. Inhale, press up to plank. Exhale, hips back, down dog. Inhale, look to the top of your space. Exhale, walk, skip, or jump your feet to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees and come to a seat. Bring your legs in front of you. Root down through your hamstrings. Flip your palms up and slowly lower to your back by engagement of your core. Keyword being slowly here. So good, once you've arrived, bring your knees in towards your belly, and wrap your arms around your legs and gently rock side to side. Come back through center, hold on to a shin with each hand and open your knees into a reverse child's pose. Circle through your ankles here. Find movement that feels good for you. Bring your legs back through center to your cactus, your arms. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower both knees to the right. Bump your hips a bit more to the left and keep both shoulder blades rooted. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, lower both knees to the left, bump your hips to the right. Feel release here. Just like the boundary of the body gives the soul freedom to live in this world, so do binds give us this boundary to live in so that we can find our space, so that we can find our strength, our breath, even if it's challenging. Inhale, come back through center. Pull your knees in, wrap your arms around your legs, find the boundary of this loving hug. Take a breath in, let it all go, find your freedom. Final Shavasana, take up space and let go. Today I leave you right here in your final resting pose. Please stay for as long as you have and continue to focus on your breath. I thank you so much for showing up today. I bow to you. Namaste.